right, guys. Well, we finally made it here to PRI. How do I know? Because there's a car hanging from the roof. So, guys, we're finally at PRI. For us, this is like the East SEMA. So, come with me. Come with Kyle. And John's over here. There's John. What's up, John? Okay. And we're going to see what's going on here. PRI 2023. Very excited. There's a lot of meetings we're going to have. And this video is done so we can see, just like last year, what is autocross, road course, truck related uh, here at PRI. Um, I'm looking forward to a couple of builds that are done. There's a mid-engine OBS that I'm looking forward to, done by 40 Grit. Um, we're here with Renegade Fuel. They're one of our sponsors. Um, we got a meeting with Summit Racing, those guys over there. So it's going to be awesome. So anyways, we're fixing to go in. I have to get our credentials from Renegade, and it's going to be a fun time. So follow me as we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. That's that's uh, Braden from uh, from Renegade. She's got her credentials. We are here with them. So this is us. This is the, it. Uh, starting to do the film, all that kind of stuff. But so we're gonna get our credentials to go inside. side to side so you want to get yourself a good seat um i didn't know that race quick soul seats and i'm highly highly impressed um we have another brand that we sell we love it but you may have to change this is a pretty good looking seat um they come in different widths this one here sits a little bit wider this one's about the middle of the ground and that's a little bit more narrow so um again my job is to go to pri and find out stuff that we can use for our trucks to go racing and i think i found a really good seat you gotta check it out all right guys here we go we're at my favorite booth it's not my favorite booth, but it's gotta be my favorite booth because i am a nasa member and i'm also the time trial director for nasa mid-south and this is the official nasa booth and so every time you go to one of our events you see the nasa flag okay you're always going to see some kind of miata because the answer is always miata so i'm basically here letting you know if you're looking for some road co road course time uh this is the way to do it this is the group this is uh, race nasa and this is how i get on the track and and I've gone from HPD 1, 2, 3, 4, time trial, and now I'm even the time trial director. So it was kind of cool to come by, see the guys here at NASA. This is the official headquarters of NASA, and I think uh, our main um, uh, regional director is going to come by and say hello, but I wanted you guys to see basically the NASA booth here at Pira. All right. Hi guys, back at it. Well, I'm at another booth and it's the Bell booth. Uh, what caught my attention is a lot of carbon fiber. Like every single one is a carbon fiber kind of helmet. And by the way, I know obviously you guys can't tell, but they weigh probably about as much as a good book. How about that? And that's what I'm like, okay, let me say it better. It's more like five hot rod magazines. Does that make more sense? That's what I thought. I mean, cause you know, last time I was reading Dickens, you know, anyways, um, you gotta get yourself a helmet. What's pretty cool with these are, if you're gonna do a little bit of road course racing, you're gonna wanna be able to hook up your Hans device. So John had a great idea. He's like, where are the Hans device? We're gonna be on search for a Hans device that you can put on. You don't need a Hans device for uh, for autocross. You do need it for road course. But another thing to check out is a helmet. Make sure you get the right one. It's nice to come to a show like this, put them on, and see how big your fat head really is. All right? All right, guys. Well, I found what I'm looking for. Do you need an explanation? 40 Grit. 40 Grit has brought his OBS to PRI, and this is awesome. So let's take a look at the truck first. Very impressed. We were talking for a few minutes. Tell me your first name again. John. John. Yeah. All right, John. So hold on. What I'm going to do is I just want to look at the truck first, then we're going to talk about it. Guys, feast your eyes on this truck. This thing is just gorgeous. If you guys don't follow 40 Grit, you need to. He's on Instagram as 40 Grit, and it's just that easy. But this is a mid-engine. I'm going to say... Uh, 
uh, 5360? Uh, it's a 7-liter LS7. 7-liter LS7. Okay. So we're going to take you around this truck. Uh, I'm going to point out a couple things that I do know. These wide-body fenders are going to be available. Yep. Right? Yep. The front fenders are going to be available. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's questionable on the door, or there might be a source. Might be in the future. We'll might see. be in the future. Yeah. Um, and you got this truck weighing how much again? Uh, it should be right around 2,700 pounds. 2,700 pounds. Um, we're still going to finish. You're still going to finish the plumbing of it. Yeah. So if you guys look at the video, there's still plumbing to do. There's still some CV joints that got to go in here. Let's talk about the engine transmission. So, so, so we can see it so plainly, let's talk about it. Yeah, this transmission, man. I, I always dropped of having a sequential transmission. And uh, just imagining the feel of just hitting the, hitting the shifter bar, just banging through the gears. And uh, I started toying in, in my head with this idea of doing a mid-engine truck. Because it sounds crazy, but it's a perfect package. Architecture-wise, it's a perfect package. Engine fits in here beautifully, plenty of space in the bed. It gives you the optimum uh, weight balance front and rear. Lots of, uh, lots of weight over the rear tires, so lots of traction. Yo. And a little polar moment. Should be able to rotate real quick, even with this long wheelbase. Yo. So I was just... That was pie in the sky, and uh, I started getting into the chassis. I did a four link. I did, you know, some spindles and coils in the front, some coil overs, and then I just, uh, I don't know. I, I I drove it one season, and then I got the itch to keep going. And That's when the truck was black, right? Yeah, it was, it was black. black. Yeah. So that was on a stock chassis. Yeah, stock chassis. With these, with these, you know, regular off the shelf yeah. upgrades. Yeah. Exactly. You said, ah, she's got more potential. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't happy with the chassis flex and. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's just go gang. Let's just do it right the way I always dreamt of Envisioned doing. it. You're right. I didn't think about the timing, the cost, or anything. Like I was just, just like, all right, let's do this. Dude. And blew it apart. And uh, initially we worked on the body. And uh, on the stock fenders, I sculpted these fender flares that add about two inches for your uh, wheel width. Okay, so what wheel width are you running? Uh, this is 13 rear, 12 in the front. Okay. Uh, but on, if you put this on a stock truck, it should be able to run uh, 11 to the front. And depending yep. on what you do in the yep. rear, like I, yep. 13s, no right. problem. Yeah, like I run 315 squared. Yeah. So what size are the tires? I know P0s, I know they're not done normally, but how? how what's the size if you had, kind of had to guess it millimeter-wise? Uh, they're uh, 325s. Call okay. them as 325s, but they're actually quite a bit wider. Yeah, yeah. They're that's like the race uh, sizing. So these are uh, 710 by, uh, by 320. And in the front, they're 680 um, by 305. Okay. Sorry, right. 305 by 680. Yep, yep, yep. Which yep. basically means uh, 26 and a half OD and mm -hmm. 27 and a half OD. Okay. okay. So. All right. So now, as far as engine goes, it's an LS7 uh, factory stock. It's What's crate engine? Crate, from, crate engine from Chevy okay. Performance. Yeah. And the transmission is out of what? That is a five-speed sequential Weddell S5 transmission, specifically okay. designed for racing. For racing. Um, it doesn't come OEM in a factory car, then. No. This is just a transaxle. What do most guys use it for? What kind of cars? Is it a Porsche? Is it a? Is it a? Generally, it's. I mean, you could talk to the the Weddell guys here know best, mm -hmm. but it originally was developed for off-road buggy racing. Okay. Uh, high horsepower, big OD, 40-inch OD tires. So you're not going to punish it, really? It's, 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 it is built tough. Okay. This is not going to put much strain on. No. So I got a stock LS7 right. here. Right, right. And I'm going to get it going and I'm going to shake it down like that, but there's plenty of room for expansion. All right, guys. Well, here's the deal. It's not a pro touring truck, but it's a, a Toyota with a 2JZ. And so here's the deal. I figured let's just do a little walk around because even at the shootout, we have a drag racing section to it, but this is pretty impressed. The, the fit and finish looks amazing and it's a Toyota truck. I haven't, I've never really seen any kind of Toyota trucks that were used for, um, for drag racing up to this caliber. So just wanted to put this on camera and show you guys, but it is a Toyota truck. Looking good. All right, guys, it's Friday. 
it's business time. <laughs> We're at PRI, behind the scenes, what really happens here with the staff at the Pro Touring Truck Shootout. We're gonna have a great time, it's gonna be a great day. We barely remember Thursday, there may have been some drinks involved, no. but today, well, milk and crackers. But anyways, we're gonna have a successful day today. Join us as we walk out the hotel room, get some breakfast, and go to PRI. See ya. I you hold the camera. <laughs> First of all, Arnie, I'd like, I'd like to say that I really like your uh, your GoPro 8. That's really cute. It's, it's We got like the GoPro 25. Wow. Man. <laughs> I mean, you at least get a 9 so you can see your face in there. No, no, but I, I really want to see my face. So guys, give you a little insight. We're walking over to Willwood and uh, talking about the Pro Turn Truck Shootout. And maybe, Obviously. And, you know, that's, that's, all, that's all there is to talk about. <laughs> and, and the free steaks he gets every time he hangs out with the I, pile. I didn't see that GM took us to dinner last night and had steak. You said that. Did I say that? I said I ate Chick-fil-A by myself, man. I got no friends here. So anyways, man, you know, well, you know what? We have a lot of friends here. And you got a lot of friends here. You know, you got a lot. So the only part is you didn't hang out with them last night. Because we don't know how to text. Yeah, but I, but I slept really good. You look tired. No, I, well, I, we drank a lot of alcohol last See? night. I didn't. I just paid 14 bucks for a coffee just to, just to you know, kick it up a notch. Yeah, of course. But anyway, so guys, it is day two, Friday, at PRI. Day one I'm with Mikey. Rolls. I'm with Joe here from Woodwood, and uh, and we're getting the day started. It just opened up right now at nine o'clock, and uh, the, the place has no windows. So you have no idea what time it is. It's just business time, so I can tell you. All right, so look, we're gonna take off. Let's go see some stuff together. I'm ready. Let's, let's, I'm ready. let's critique I'm ready. some people, parts and booths. I want to meet some new people. You want to meet new people? Yeah, I want to meet new people. I'm going to give it to the boy. You know what? Right here. There's I Joe. I don't know, you know Joe, Joe, but I know Will Wood. Be honest, Will. Watch this. This is, very, this is what I do. Watch. Do you, do you need to stop? I do. I have Will Woods at all can my you, bills. Can you Trust help me stop? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, Joe. Right, is Caleb here? <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. So we'll take care of him. Everyone just take each other. Hey, that's my job. All right, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. So now those guys are doing a deal. Remind you, it's a 1% broker fee for me to hook you up with what you need. Yeah. All right. Look, see, look at this, see? That's Pro Torn Truck Shootout brokerage firm at work. This is what we do here. Making friends who race. Right, John? All right, guys, here's the deal. We couldn't do a proper, get over here, get over here, you're in. We couldn't do a proper Indian video at PRI, so we're gonna have to do it this way. But why not with a bunch of friends who have had a good time. Get over here, John, you're cute too. All right, so anyways, man, it's about 6.30 in the morning and we're out of here. 6.45. 6.45, we hear my, my buddy Mikey Rolls, it's cold for him, he's a West Palm Beach guy. It's too cold for, for my savage, man. Yeah, it's too bro. cold. So guys, I just want to thank you so much to, for being on our journey at PRI. We had a great time. Guys, hit me up, DM me. We had the best time last night at a cigar bar that we just stumbled across, and it was phenomenal. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us, and we guys, we'll see you later.